Hi everyone, I'm Cara and I'm a STEM ambassador that works at a university as a senior research technician. This means I get to work with other scientists to do interesting experiments. Today I'm going to tell you about the project that I worked on looking at turning agricultural waste into biofuels. I have a few slides here to help me explain. You get many types of agricultural waste. Any food that we grow results in a waste being left in the fields. This can be anything from wheat straw, which is up here, to cocoa pods down here. In most cases, this waste is left in the fields to rot, but sometimes it is burnt, such as sugarcane here and rice straw over here. In both cases, this can lead to harmful effects on the environment, as it can cause poor soil due to plant disease and pests, or the creation of air pollution that is harmful to our health. This waste material is actually amazing stuff because it contains lots of important chemicals. Plants contain cells that are different to animal cells in that they have a cell wall, which you can see over here, this ring. This cell wall is made up of lots of different compounds that can be broken down into its parts, such as sugars in the form of pentose, hexose and glucose, as well as other interesting compounds. To get these chemicals and sugars, we use a biorefinery. The waste materials brought to the biorefinery, whether it's from agricultural waste or even recycling, where it's treated first with high temperatures and chemicals to break it down. This then releases the sugars and interesting compounds, which can be further broken down using enzymes, which are naturally occurring substances. These sugars are then fermented using yeast to convert the sugars into ethanol, which is added to fossil fuels to produce biofuels that we use to run our cars. The other chemicals can also be used to produce interesting materials, such as bioplastics or even things for the food industry, such as sweeteners. A biorefinery is sustainable because it produces less greenhouse gases in the production of biofuels and these chemicals than traditional methods used to produce petrols from fossil fuels. It is also using a source material that is easily available and is continuously renewed, unlike coal and fossil fuels, which we only have a limited supply of. So you're probably wondering what role I play in all this. Well, lots of scientists and engineers all work together to, in creating a successful biorefinery. My role is to investigate which agricultural wastes work best. So the main thing I'm looking for is agricultural waste that contains lots of sugars in their cell walls, as well as any interesting compounds that we are specifically after. Some of the plants I've worked on include wheat and rice straw, as well as sugar cane. I'm also involved in looking at the best way to get these sugars out of the cell wall so that they can then be converted into the, the compounds we're interested in. Next, I will answer some of the questions I've been sent. First question I got was from Emma Dawson, who's 15. She has asked if science is a job for women. It definitely is. There are plenty of women working in science. It is a job that gives you lots of flexibility as to how you want to shape your career, as there's so much to choose from, so you can choose the role that best suits you. The next question I have is what subjects did I study at school? Well, I went to school in South Africa, which has a different system to what you're used to here in Britain. However, I did focus on the science subjects, such as biology, chemistry, physics and maths. What did I want to be when I was little? Good question. I wanted to be a detective. In a way, I'm still that little girl playing detective, but now the mysteries I solve are those involving looking at plants. What is the favorite part of my job? Oh, that's a difficult one to answer. I love that I'm always learning something new. Whether it's a whole new field of research, or even if it's just trying to understand why an experiment hasn't worked how I thought it would. Next, I have a question of why did I want to work in producing biofuels? 
Well, this is an interesting question in that I didn't really plan to work in biofuels. I've kind of fallen into it, but I've always been interested in how plants can help us live better lives. And being involved in the production of biofuels was a natural step to take. Why is sustainability an important part of my work? I love making a difference in the world, even if it's only a small part. So not only do I work on projects that are linked to sustainability, but I try to be sustainable in the lab too, by looking at ways to reduce our carbon emission or reduce our impact on the planet while doing our research. Finally, I want to thank you for watching this short video. I'm proud to be part of STEM Ambassadors, a large network of volunteers. Our commitment and support brings STEM subjects to life and helps demonstrate the value of them in careers. You too can request a STEM ambassador to support your school and community group activities, either face-to-face -face or online, by visiting the STEM Learning website.